Roger Ivins loves acting. Coming into this new career in a short amount of time, he's landed roles that he could only dream of. Tonight, he talks about his opportunities and advice he has for actors trying to make it in the field. So thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you coming in and telling us about everything you've experienced in your career so far. It's my pleasure, Teresa. It's, um, it's, been, a, it's been a relatively short career as far as, the, you know, as, far as most actors go, but mm -hmm. it's been... Uh, a fast and wild ride. Well, let's start with how it began. Where, where did the influence come for uh, you to start acting? Uh, originally, you know, originally it was um, in New Orleans uh, when I was, you know, I just got my feet wet doing background and I, I kept getting bumped up to cast. And so that was on Free Ray Sean and Sacrifice. And it was always, you know, I always got to wear the super cool military outfits and, <laughs> and they were great, you know, great photo op opportunities. And and I have a very good friend, a very good mentor, who got me started, Eliza, Eliza Castro, who was uh, recurring in Bloodline, and Billy Slaughter, who's uh, you know who's 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 you know New Orleans like actor. Uh, he's the guy's an amazing human being, been in hundreds of films. So I, I'm lucky to have them as mentors. And so, you know, lo and behold, you know, uh, my mother ended up getting sick here in New Mexico, and so I came to take care of her, but to continue my acting career here. And then, uh, and then I needed to find an agent here, and so I found. Um, you know Peter Yankee with Fergal Bear, who, mm -hmm. I, who I absolutely love, and um, you know on our on our first audition in New Mexico for the sniper role of Stranger Things, we booked the helicopter sniper role in season four, episode eight. I know, which was bigger than I could ever imagined. You know, because you know the acting world, oftentimes your eye lines have little pieces of paper. I, well, how was that moment? I mean, being that it's been a, a short, you know, yeah. it's a short span. What was it like finding out you just landed Man. a role on one of the biggest shows? Man, that was a dream come true, and um, and obviously that led to other bigger and better things. Yes. I mean, that was a very large co-star role. Um, and then, um, and right now I'm working very closely with Kevin Costner on some things and we just wrapped from that. And that was a dream. I mean, he is exactly how you would imagine, but like amplified and just like, like this is, this is, uh, you know, it is Kevin Costner when it comes to film, like he's, he's so in it yeah. and he makes everybody around him better. In the time that you've been acting, what would you say is probably one of the strongest lessons you've learned? There's so many lessons, mm -hmm. and I feel like you learn a lesson as you as you rise up in a stage, and as you rise up in a stage, so so do your talents and your skills and your tool belts, and so what I think makes a great actor first and foremost is being able to imagine a world in front of you to the utmost detail, every little thing, and then be able to react off of it. And so I find the more advanced that you get, the more detailed it gets, which means the more that you can react off of it. What piece of advice would you give actors that are still for working them? At I guess what I, the best advice I could give you is to do whatever it is that your frequency is. If your frequency is not acting, you will not last. You will not survive because it's based on 99% rejection. Like it's, it is a cutthroat world. But if it's your frequency and if you're on set and you just know that's your place, then that's for you. Nicole, so where can people find you online? So on Instagram, you know, I've, uh, so it's uh, Roger Ivans underscore actor. I've never been a social networker, but I'm on there. <laughs> Um, now and uh, and so and so, but I'm on there. You can see some behind the scenes Stranger Things scenes. You can even see the audition that landed me the role. Well, yeah. Roger, thank you for coming in today and talking about pleasure. your career. Can't wait. Maybe we'll see here a couple years from now and be like, this is what you know from then to now because it's going to be amazing. So. Absolutely. Thanks again. Thank you, Teresa. It's a pleasure. <laughs> we'll be back.